A sudden swerve to avoid an obstacle. The abrupt movement causes the tail of the car to break away. Although the driver reacts correctly by steering into the skid to avoid the tail breaking away, he's unable to keep the vehicle under control. The same situation with a vehicle with ESP. The same road conditions, the same abrupt swerve. This time, however, the car doesn't break away and the driver, thanks to ESP, is able to master the tricky situation. The electronic stability program sensors register the tendency to skid and activate the system. Even when a vehicle, in trying to avoid an obstacle, leaves the road as simulated here, ESP supports the driver and prevents the tail from breaking away. There's no danger of the front wheels locking because the ABS goes into action. ESP gently brakes the wheel on the outside of the curve. This prevents the vehicle from spinning around its own axis. ESP is automatically activated as soon as a vehicle begins to slide out of control, long before the driver can react. Or, put another way, it's impossible for the driver to apply the brakes in the time that ESP can. This tractor with its split brake pedal, which permits separate braking of the rear wheels on either the left or the right-hand side. If, while driving, the brake is applied to the rear wheel on the right-hand side, it creates a moment about the vertical axis of the vehicle. The tractor describes a right-hand curve even though the steering wheel isn't being moved. In other words, braking can also be employed to steer. A similar situation to the one we saw earlier. Two drivers swerve sharply. The driver with ESP has no problem. The one without ESP goes into a skid. In trying to get back into lane again, oversteering causes the rear of the car to break away. By targeted braking of the front wheel on the outside of the curve, ESP creates a braking force, initially on the left side of the vehicle, then on the right. Each time, this creates a moment around the vertical axis which counteracts oversteering. In the case of unintentional understeering, the moment is created by the brake acting on the rear wheel on the inside of the curve. In this way, stability is maintained and the vehicle brought back to the ideal line.